At the beginning of the European session, traders of the US dollar made an attempt to recap some losses. And this week, the US dollar index has lost 1%. However, hints dropped by the Fed's representatives encouraged traders. The officials said that the regulator intended to continue taking measures to slacken inflation, and this allowed the greenback to slightly gain in value against the European currencies, ignoring promising data from the Eurozone. Although growth in the UK industrial production accelerated to 2.4% from a 1.4%, the pound sterling has been under pressure since the beginning of the trading day. The currency is falling despite the GDP preliminary estimates, which turned out to be better than anticipated. Economists had expected the GDP growth to slacken to 2.8% from 8.7%. However, it is slowed down to 2.9 percent. The situation could be explained by the market overheating. During the last two days, the euro and the pound sterling significantly gained in value, and the market needed at least a local correction. That's why, quote, good macroeconomic reports cannot boost the currencies. Meanwhile, negative data may immediately affect the euro and the pound sterling, causing a downward correction. Thus, data on the eurozone industrial production should have caused a decline in European currencies. Economists had expected a rise of 0.8% compared to a 1.6% increase in the previous period. However, the indicator unexpectedly advanced by 2.4%. Nevertheless, the euro and the British pound have lost the upward momentum and remained at the current levels. They are likely to stay flat until the end of the trading week. Let us take a closer look at the European currencies through the prism of a technical analysis. Thus, the euro-dollar pair reached the upper limit of the earlier broken range formed between 1.0150 and 1.0270. After the price touched this level, the volume of short positions dropped. As a result, the pair rebounded and returned to the local high of the current correctional movement. Since bullish sentiment is still in force, the price consolidation above 1.0350 on the third chart will prolong the upward correction. If the predictions come true, the euro may gradually climb to 1.0500 and 1.0650. The downward scenario will become possible if the price settles below 1.0200 on the flow chart. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair hit 1.2155, where it stagnated. An insignificant decline in the volume of loan orders points to the fact that the bullish sentiment still prevails among traders. Under the current conditions, the price returned to 1.2250 and 1.2300, and consolidation above this area may lead to a further rise. The pair may start falling if it settles below 1.2130 on the flow chart. How we're going to be in the short term, we will definitely tell you in our next news releases. Don't miss them and stay up to date with us. See you soon.